All right, to take a look at the heavy duty crane scale. That's cool. So we do have full color instruction manual. Oh, that's interesting. So this one actually has a remote. That's pretty cool. Looks like that takes two triple A's. And then this is the scale. Check that out. That is pretty cool. So I do like that they put the capacity on the back. So this has a minimum weight of four kilograms, which is around uh, just under nine pounds, and a maximum of a thousand kilograms, which is about 2,200 pounds. So every weighing has to be between nine pounds and 2,200 pounds for this to register properly. So we got power, remote, and then Terra Zero. So if you want to zero this, for example, if you're gonna be lifting something that's gonna be lifting something, you can put that on there, then hit the zero, and that way you'll be able to weigh whatever that is holding. So I like that they got that option. Now, as we can see, we got a nice big hook on here. This is a super heavy duty hook. So that is cool. And we got a nice loop on the top and that is held in with a cotter pin. So we can either put that on a hook or we can remove that cotter pin and then throw this directly onto a chain. Okay, it looks like this is using three double A's. So that's good because what that means is that this is going to last a long time. Wow, that's pretty cool. So we got the S, that means stable. So essentially when you're lifting very heavy things, there's a chance that things could kind of like spring and bounce up and down a little bit. So when that's finally settled, you can get an accurate reading. This is gonna tell you when that reading is accurate. It's got a battery level indicator. We can see that it is on kilograms. So if I was to pull on this, and then I hit hold, we can see that is gonna hold that weight. So I can get an accurate reading on that thing without it bouncing up and down. So that's what the H does. And then this is the zero. So if we don't wanna use the zero on the crane, we can use zero on the remote. And then if we wanna take the hold off, we can either wait 30 seconds or we can just press it again. And that takes the hold off. This is the power on self test. So if we wanted to recalibrate, we hit that. And then this button will change it from kilograms to pounds. So here we got kilograms and here we got pounds. I do like how fast that updates as well. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take this guy to the shop and put it to use. So this will actually be a good opportunity to use the tear function because this hook won't fit over this loop. So I can use this. All right, so we got a weight of 0.4. Now I'll zero it. So that way I'm gonna be weighing just the pump without the hook. heavier than I thought it was 115 pounds and that's empty I didn't know it was gonna weigh that much that's nuts okay well, that's cool yeah yeah well he, that dude's stronger than he looks yeah that's too <laughs> all right cool well now we know Well, I think that's exactly what he's doing. <laughs> he's trying to prove something. But yep, that is an awesome little scale. I'm very happy to have that.